or the chairman of the board of the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, Mrs. Rokesh Shokefon, has called for stronger collaboration on the implementation of the national anti-corruption strategy towards strengthening the fight against corruption uh, in the country. Mrs. Shokefon made the call in Abuja at the sensitization seminar for boards and management of the corporation facilitated by the National Anti-Corruption Strategy Secretariat. Blessed Omonose reports. In a bid to take appropriate actions towards the implementation of the National Anti-Corruption Strategy, as well as alter the culture of corruption and promote transparency and accountability in the public sector, the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, has engaged the board and management of the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation in a sensitization program towards deepening anti-corruption practices in the corporation. Chairman of the board of NDIC, Mrs. Ronke Shokefun, noted that the seminar, which is a welcome development, will provide better ways of enhancing the anti-corruption mantra through the instrumentality of the NACS. Organizations like yours, like you rightly identified, can partner with us and even us, you know, help us get better. We wing it, we do as we know best, guided, of course, by natural principles, and I'm glad that those core values are some of those things that we expound, even without any formal documentation anywhere. As NDIC, we have engaged most of the provisions of this uh, Act and statutory provisions. We have constitutional framework within which we uh, deal with them, but from time to time we are actually expected to exercise and of course to drill down uh, the issues uh, to staff of all members of the NDIC uh, NDIC family. In his presentation on the national integrity ethics and integrity policy. The Deputy Director, Public Institution Ethics and Values of ICPC, Mr. John Ode, lauded the NDIC Board for being the first institution in both the public and private sector to accept and also take the NACS sensitization to the board level. My purpose here this afternoon is to appeal to the board of the NDIC to take ownership of the national ethics and integrity policy and to mainstream it into its code of ethics and corporate governance. With this move by the NDIC, there is no doubt that the implementation of this commitment will lead to potential impact on the anti-corruption efforts of the ICPC. Blessed. Omonose, TVC News, Lagos.